Greetings my esteemed subscribers, welcome to a forest walk. I have quite a few videos planned but it feels more reasonable to just exhaust the topic of the corona or Wuhan virus first because you know that's after all the most relevant thing to discuss at this moment in time. So the first question I thought to respond to is how seriously I take this thing and I do take it seriously. I'm not a doctor myself but my wife's father happens to be a doctor and that's a man I trust 100% both professionally and in terms of you know wanting the best for my family. So he says you know keep safe, be safe, um, maintain your isolation to the best of your abilities so that's what we're doing uh, so if you're wondering about my personal stance yeah I'm trying to keep it um, I'm trying to keep safe um, to the best of our abilities now of course we are fortunate to be in near the forest of isolation here in good old Scandinavia so you know close to nature um, so it's much easier for us to be you know, stay away from people. Um, I can imagine that if you're living in Madrid or any of the Italian cities, it might of course be a lot harder mentally to just be inside, whereas we can at least go out in the forest. And you know, it's not all too much of a problem to be completely honest. Of course, I do miss the gym, I miss MMA, but ultimately, yeah, it's um, I can get a lot a lot done anyway, so it's all good. But I would say something though in regards to the economy. And you know, I don't want to sound like a conservative uh, or a neoliberal who cares about GDP and do not care about humans. My perspective is this. I do take it seriously and I do endorse, of course, social distancing, quarantine measures, um, bans on travel and everything. Um, I do support it because I believe this is a severe health crisis and all countries should do their part to try to stop it, including Sweden. I say should because we aren't at the moment, but it comes at a cost and that cost is economical and I don't say that I'm worried about the economy for the sake of some giant corporation or some banks or anything. I am worried about the economy for the small family businesses, the small companies, etc. You know, everyone who has a company, you know, it's not always the easiest. And you know, everything is quite fragile. It's uh, sometimes hard to get. Damn. Okay, you could probably not see that, but um, there was an elk in um, in the forest. Actually, just ran away. Well, actually, okay. So <laughs> a bit of extra um, extra material. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw anything in the video but um, um, yeah I will take another path I don't want to disturb the elk well I already did but um, yeah anyway um, so where was I yes I do am worried about you know the, the small businesses it is hard to get around um, and if you have a you know family driven cafe somewhere and you have a city-wide lockdown it can be a you know it can break you it, it can break your business um, whereas you know if you have big companies big multinational companies such as McDonald's for example you know they can withstand the sort of economic tragedies you know they might have to fire up they might have to fire a few people, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're employed at McDonald's, you've perhaps worked there for half a year or something. You haven't invested so much time, money, energy into that. Whereas the family cafe 
might have you know yeah it's uh, it's been a lot going into that endeavor and what do you do if it's um, if it goes bankrupt uh, or being bought up by a large you know Starbucks or something so you see if I say that I am a bit worried about the economy it's not because I care so much about the GDP it's because I care about people it's because I care about these you know little companies that make the economy go around um, you know the local economies and if there's something as I said in the last video if there is one thing that hopefully is a lesson here is the virtue and the value of a local economy that you know you are not so dependent upon these big multinational companies you're not so dependent on imports you're not so dependent upon a system that is so fragile that a little thing can happen somewhere else and the whole chain comes crashing down if you want to have a reliable and stable anti-fragile system yeah it's local farms basically you get the majority of your food produce from local farms not rocket science but something that should be the the pinnacle of every economic system you know if any heads of states are watching this you uh, should definitely focus on that sort of thing when you build your when you formulate your policies now also again if any heads of states are watching this fine video in regards to using the tax money you know you have the option what you can spend the tax money on you can either you know bail out a massive bank for an um, astronomical amount of money you can spend the money on a population replacement you know giving all money away to young men from other biocultures or alternatively what you can also do and this is my completely revolutionary wisdom here I know it's very radical but you could actually you could try to spend it on your own population on your own entrepreneurs on your own men and women who are in a tough spot because of the lockdowns so you say to them this you know the family cafe I just mentioned the local farm the whatever everyone who is affected by the lockdown in a city so if you are in Italy for example you have a local family owned cafe of some sort you say to them okay you need to stay inside you need to close your shop for however much time but we will give we will give you a grant of this amount of euro or whatever so that you can you know you haven't lost all too much sure you have lost revenue but we can compensate a bit of it so that you survive so you see that is a reasonable use of the tax money so instead of again bailing out a big bank or continuing on with population replacement or giving away all the tax money to development countries revolutionary thought focus on your own population so anyway I just wanted to have that said long story short I take this pandemic situation seriously I suggest everyone else does too but I am also worried about the economy but there is a solution I do suggest you know lockdowns um, social isolation social distancing is a good idea and most Western nations have enough resources to compensate the small businesses that make the economy go around um, and I do feel my heart goes out to all all of these businesses being targeted you know my businesses are you know quite anti-fragile in this regard now of course I have calculated uh, it will be less revenue it is what it is it um, it sucks um, it's not fun at all but ultimately priorities for yeah me and my family to stay safe and um, everyone else staying safe as well so yeah that being said I hope you all stay safe and thank you for watching XXO Ooh.